Good morning, Emmanuel, people of God. Today we're going to watch the revival, just a highlight of the revival that was played on Sunday during the Sunday service. Uh, they put in the highlight of the revival, three days revival. Let's sit and watch what really took place after our time I passed to upload the videos. Viewers, you that were not there with us, but we know you are there with us in spirit. Glue to Emmanuel TV, we will bring you the full event. But for now, we we'll just show you highlights of what happens there. God bless you as you watch. Thank you. Good morning and win today in Jesus' name. We're here at the Faith Resort Ground, Square and Prayer Mountain, where many come for meditation, prayer, liberation, restoration, and revival. And today we welcome you to the first of the three-day Square and Revival Meeting 2024 with Pastor. That as I come today, my family will receive total deliverance. Expecting the power of God in my life, the greatness and the joy of God, and the peace of God in my life and my family, in the name of Jesus. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. Keep watching Emmanuel TV Island. Heaven is aware you are here today. Heaven is aware that you are here today. And if heaven is aware that you are here today, your case is settled. Your case is settled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On behalf of our mother and the Lord, Pastor Mrs. Evelyn Joshua,
We welcome everyone present here today in the name of the Father and the Sweet Fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Yes, we welcome you to the three days revival meeting here at the prayer mountain of Prophet TB Joshua. Yes. Yes, the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We want to thank the King of Kings, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Give him all the glory. 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 As we open this revival meeting with prayer, only prayer can create spiritual atmosphere in your life. And so, Lord God Almighty, listen to the voice of our supplications. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are here because this word says, come. And because we came, we will receive. And so for this revival meeting, we'll be looking into the book of Jonah. Oh, you are the healer of wounds inside and outside. Hear my voice. Open your lips, open your lips. You are the deliverer, you are the healer of wounds inside and outside. Hear my poem. Lord, heed their brokenness. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. You have acknowledged that sickness, disease, whatever challenges you are having, is a darkness. I command you to come out of darkness in the name of Jesus. Come out of darkness. That affliction, that affliction, that affliction, that affliction, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Open your lips, open your lips, begin to come out of darkness. Come out of darkness, come out of darkness, so that you can actually the light. Come out of darkness and actually the light. Emmanuel, God is with us. We thank God for his presence. Thank him for his love. Thank him for the grace. It can only be God. So praises to our Lord and King. Hallelujah. Please do have your seat. Revival. God will revive you in the morning and at night. And so we have to make this sacrifice to be awake for him. Prayer is the key. tonight have the opportunity to listen to the teachings of prophet tb joshua god bless you all so get ready amen
Thank you. Bless you. Amen. From the teachings of the prophets, many areas was touched. Many areas of our lives we are touched. It's just about knowing ourselves. Don't try to be anybody. We have meeting like we're having. We're asking, who do you want to be like? They want to be like this. They want to be this person. They want to be, eh, eh. I want to be myself. That woman that God has made me to be, that is who I want to be. I don't want to be anybody. Because if you are yourself, you are not in competition with anybody. Thank you very much. So get ready. the day two revival meeting 2024 with pastor evelyn joshua an anticipated event for god's people to be revived in all areas of their lives on day one many came in faith and received their blessings pastor evelyn joshua blessed them with an interactive message that inspired their faith and gave them food for thought before the evangelists came and led them on the faith walk round the prayer mountain. People have come to the Faith Resort Ground, the Skowabria Mountain Revival Meeting for day two to rekindle their first love for God. In the book of Hosea chapter 6 verse 2, it is written, After two days, He will revive us. On the third day, He will restore us that we may live in His presence. As you join us today, get ready to go home with blessings in Jesus' name. A clean heart, oh. Let us be seated in the presence of God. We are here for revival. Remember, the essence of this revival is for salvation of your soul. Because the primary objective of this faith restored ground, also the arena of liberty, is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Thank you, Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. I greet you all. Welcome. Emmanuel. God is us. Emmanuel. God is us. Good morning again. Good morning. It will always be morning for us. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you Lord. Thank we are just here to fulfill our righteousness. It's been done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God Almighty started this meeting with us. He began with us. And all we end in praise. All we end in glory. Thank you, Lord. Have your seat. Prayer.
never enough. So we pray. Father, Lord God Almighty, let our ways be yours to order. Where you lead, obedience be. Almighty God, let our desires be nothing before you, but only to seek and to follow you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. This is the second day of this revival. We just have to do what you have to do. This is sweet days. You know many of you have engagement. But this is also important for your spiritual uplift. So yesterday we talked about someone. Jonah, the man of God. Evangelist, a prophet, a mouthpiece of God, was sent to do something, something he knows how to do best. And he rebelled. He disobeyed God, thinking he can flee from the presence of God. There's a place he can hide. But you probably know that there's no place to hide from the presence of God. And the consequences of that action we saw, not just him, but everyone that was with him. So we encourage ourselves to be careful, to be cautious. As you are selling in this sheep of salvation, be mindful of those that are with you so that they don't think you are a sheep. You have to be prayerful at all times. Question number three. Why did God send Jonah of Amidai to Nevenai and what Neither and what was the instruction given? Praise the Lord. Do you want to answer the question, sister? It doesn't matter. You are not the you are not the father of uh, Jonah. See, what's your problem? <laughs> Jonah of we I'm a Thai. I'm a Thai. <laughs> Country. Ah, if I, if, I call my the, name. if I call the name of my the name of my village, up to now people do they don't we call it UK City. You know why we call it UK City? Because not the UK. UK, UK in Delta State. Get yourself prepared to do your work of faith. Lord Jesus, see me through. See me through. Lord Jesus, see me through. we're going now all our hard desires will be granted in jesus name god bless you whatever affliction in your life that affliction troubling your life that affliction troubling your career get, come out come out come out come out Continuez de commander cette affliction qui trouble votre vie, qui trouble votre, votre carrière. Commandez-la de sortir dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That problem in your hair resists solution. Resist solution. Resist solution. Every problem, every affliction, every pain in your body. 
Daddy. Receive solution in the name of Jesus. Receive solution in the name of Jesus. Receive solution in the name of Jesus. Your problem could be pain, could be cancer, could be affliction, could be whatever, could be disease. Receive solution in the name of Jesus. Cualquier enfermedad recibe solución. Receive solution in the name of Jesus. Receive solution in the name of Jesus. Christ is reliable. The Bible led us to understand that heaven and earth would pass away, but the word of God will remain. So anything you put your trust in, that is not the word of God. Anything you are trusting today, that is not based on the scriptures, the word of God. Just be watchful. Man will disappoint you. Science will disappoint you. Organization will call it disappoint you. But the word of God never. So tonight you will call it have the privilege to listen to another teaching of the man of God, Prophet TB Joshua. God bless you. Thank you. yesterday too we talked about those sailors with Jonah we said on the last day they will stand they will stand against many church people who will not pray they will not pray in times of trouble to their God and even when they are delivered too they don't know how to give thanks they receive from God. They pray, they receive, and they give thanks. That brought about the vow we are talking about today. So we are going out. Meditate in your heart. Give him thanks. For what he has done. And he will do it again, again, and again. God bless you. Infirmity is associated with sickness, disease, 
associated with failure, disappointment, all the challenges you are going through. Right now, command them out with all that trouble. You demon, out with all your trouble, with all your failure, I command you out of my life. With all your trouble, with all your deceit, with all your setback, with all your limitation, let the power. God has done it for you again. What no man can do for you, he has done it for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Emmanuel, God is with you. Thank you. that gives us joy that gives us hope that wiped away our tears take away our money and fill us with his joy dancing the suffering that took us away from darkness into everlasting life let us give God thanks for that the retreat is meant for you to rekindle your love for God we are here tonight Jonah chapter 3 from verse 1 to the end. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you. Jonah obeyed the word of the Lord and went to Nineveh. I want someone to interpret this verse of the Bible in pidgin English. Come out from my place at all. But you they drag me. You say make I go. I can't run. Say make I go tashish. You can't call me back again. I know who you be. Faithful God. People will sin, they will come, you forgive them. That is your work. That is what you do. Hey, I'm tired. This God, I want to die. was doing there? Jonah, the man of God, a child of God like you, was sent an errand by God. He disobeyed. There was consequences for that disobedience. And not just him alone, but every other person that was with him. How does Jonah experience in the belly of the fish demonstrate God's sovereignty and power? Whatever be the situation, the circumstances, if you are in the hand of God, you are secured. So whatever situation you are in today, do not let your relationship with God be broken. Whatever situation, no matter how hard it is, do not let your relationship with God be broken. The man of God, Prophet T.P. Joshua, told us that correction makes future possible. Correction makes future what? Possible. Jonah was corrected. 
had a change of heart. And so he moves. To do that thing that God asked him to do. To proclaim his mercy to the people that need it. Already God has done his job ahead of him. And so as he was telling them, they were receiving it. Every instruction becomes easier. Because God has gone ahead of him. He teaches the word without any issue. And the people believed him. That those whom God loves, he disciplined. Correction makes future possible. Jonah was disciplined. God Almighty handed over the city to him. And he preached. You know what it means? How many people are in that city? He was able to convert them for God. That was great. In this journey, this ship of life, we are today, ship of salvation. How many of us, when we see that things is wrong in our house, things is not just right with us, how many of us are bold enough to call everyone around and said, let us pray. Let us pray to God and so that we can know who we are doing what, who we are contending with. And so people of God, prayer is a sound for every soul. A remedy for what? Every malady, every problem in your life. Prayer. I saw the prayer warriors. They were like this. And every one of you, you were praying. And one of the prayer warriors was doing like this. This is what Prophet Bishar does when he's praying. You know how difficult it is? With men that have relationship with God, they have ways we they talk to. They are friends of God. So I say, say anything, believe anything. It is he who will give account. Jonah's message of mercy to the people in that city. They heard it. They believed it. They repented. They were saved. So also Christ's message of mercy to us today. You don't have ultimatum like the Nineveh. You don't have ultimatum. That you have to be prepared so that you are not caught on our way. The message of salvation is free. Message of salvation is free. That is why Jesus Christ is going through the humiliation today. At the night hour, is it not three o'clock? That has gone. Something happened in the temple. The temple what? Cutting. From all to down so because something has happened do not let it suffering his pain the humiliation he went to bring salvation for you be in vain you have benefited from that let others know about him you came you are blessed already and God will bless you the more so get ready to receive you are in poverty. You are in poverty. You are in poverty. You are in full spirit. Come out. Come out. Come out of darkness. Come out of darkness. I said, come out of darkness. Okay, let's see this one. Let me see this one. Let me turn it over and stop here. Let's stop here. Let's never let go. Let's stop here. Listen to me. You have acknowledged that you will never forget who is light when you come out of darkness. Every darkness around. Every darkness around. Every darkness around. 
by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. So we are thankful, we are grateful to God for the opportunity. That is just the highlight of the event. Watch us. Watch the full event on Emmanuel TV. And you'll be blessed as you watch in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. That was just a highlight. If you want the full event, you can go to Emmanuel TV and you will watch it. We can see that they've done both night vigil and prayer meeting. And it was awesome. And faith walk, that is to walk around the mountain. Until we meet again with another new video.